Anastasia Mishkina, thank you for your time. You're going to be a mom again. How exciting is it? And is it different for you the second time around? Well, it's actually third. Third time around? Yeah, I have two sons, so um, I kind of get used to it for that <laughs> situation. And of course, uh, well, it's completely different than the, from the sports side. So, uh, like, it's a different life, completely different. You cannot just say more quiet or it's faster or it, it's just a different thing. What's tougher, being a mom or being a tennis player? Well, being a mom, for sure, it would be, yeah, because you worry more, you kind of understand what um, what is the best for you, for your uh, babies, and uh, now you understand that the, the tennis is just a game, and it's definitely fun, you know, you have to enjoy every day, every moment when you step on the court, and when you have a different life with the babies, it's like, you know, when the baby's sick, you go crazy. You know, before I was like, if I lost the match, that the really bad time. Now I understand that it's a great time, you know. <laughs> so, it to be a moment tougher. Uh, much tougher. Okay, then, um, when you when you were playing, when you won the French Open, did you ever think you'd be in this situation? Um, actually not. I, I I had the interview a couple of weeks ago, and they asked me the same question. I said, you know what? If like a couple of years ago, you would. Uh, you're gonna tell me that I'm gonna have like two kids and I'm gonna wait, gonna wait for a third one, and I'm gonna have a house and I was, I'm gonna be in Moscow working for TV. I would like really laugh and I said no way, <laughs> but now <laughs> it's a real life for me and um, I really, I really enjoy it. I'm trying to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> what, get, what is more? Uh, it takes more of your energy, being a player or being a mom. Um, you know, it's just a different energy, you know, like physically for sure the tennis is taking more energy, you know, like I have to move more, I have to fly more, you know, I have to like uh, think more <laughs> on the court. Um, when you, mom, it's just mentally, you know, tougher because I have to always think what, what to give, which food they have to eat, if they don't eat this one, which one they're going to eat, and well, if they have to go for the sun, you know, it's just a different thoughts and a different... Well, when you're tired, it's different. And it's less sleep when you're being a mom. Well, actually, for me, it's one good thing. I um, I have like a help, really good help with the nannies, so they help me. I sleep not uh, really much when I'm working, so I have like a, I have a TV show and it starts really early, so <laughs> then I don't sleep. No, the baby let me sleep, so it's good. <laughs> How much you enjoy the TV side of things? Um, it's nice. I like it. Of course, I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna do it that's for the rest of my life, but th so far it's really nice. I do different that sports things. I do like with the diet thing. I, well, I, I have also tennis show, but it's just one hour. It's fine. <laughs> but with the, with the diet, it's really interesting because I never had a diet before in my life. So really? not even you were playing. No, really? never. Yeah, I was pretty skinny, so and I was okay with my weight. But now, of course, when you're always pregnant, let's put it that way, <laughs> uh, I have to like c control my weight, so it's really interesting. Would you swap any? Uh, would you swap your life now for anything else? No, for sure not. Because, well, of course, I'm, when I watch the girls' life, not on TV. In TV, I I'm really get. I want to sleep when I watch things. I don't know why. It's, I swear, but when I watch life, especially Fed Cup, uh, it's um, you know it's really nice memories. You know, like a lot of people, the crowd, they always cheer. You know, they they, they support you, or it, if you play in a different country, they support your opponents, and it, it's it's a really good memories. And then I'm like, oh, that would be nice if I would step on the court one more time in that kind of um, situation. Just one second. Um, then, yeah, then kind of thinking that would be nice. But when the Fed Cup finished, then I'm like, no, it's fine. <laughs> I, lo I love my life. <laughs> but look at the other ladies that have come back. Lindsay Davenport, after having a couple of kids, has come back to play. Well, still, you know, it just... Um well, they not really come back. Let's put it that way. Seriously, well, they tried again. They, they tried, but you understand that now priorities are a little bit different. And of course, you're not able to fly like every week. You're not able really travel, and you know, spend like five hours in the court. Now, I'm I'm cannot to do it because I know that my older son they're gonna go crazy if I'm not gonna be at home with them. You know. You do homework with them. 
Uh, well, three so far they really the three and a half, so yeah. not, not yet homework, but I'm kind of getting ready for that. <laughs> so I'm not really sure, but Fed Cup it's really nice still. <laughs> yeah. Okay, last two questions. Who's naughtier? Baby number one, baby number two? Or oh, they're both pretty good? Well, they're different. Yeah. They're completely different. Uh, the old one, it's really like my son, and uh, the second one, really Papa. So it com they, they're just different. <laughs> and third one is coming in March. Um, Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? It's a boy. It's I a have boy. just boys, so <laughs> I don't know, soccer team or hockey team, whatever. But, um, or tennis? No, like no, Davis no tennis. No, no tennis for men. I don't think a tennis is a good thing. <laughs> Anastasia Muskila, thanks very much for no your time. Problem.